funny enough, uh, in my in deep investigative journalistic <laughs> research of you, yeah, it says you're you used to be an MMA reporter. Yeah. <laughs> how 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 did it, how did that happen? How did you get into it? I was really into martial arts. I was like a huge UFC buff. I mean, this is 2010, maybe. You practice martial arts yourself? I did. Yeah, I was mostly stand up. I did really. Like, um, I did a lot of Muay Thai and then some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and just yeah. I was really. The thing is, I I get really intense about my hobbies, <laughs> and I was so all into in. it. I was yeah. all in. Awesome. And um. I had worked a little bit as a journalist and I was like, oh, I should like do MMA reporting. And I emailed uh, this uh, MMA website in Sweden. I was like, hey, can I come and write for you? And they were like, oh, actually, we're going to an event in Gothenburg tomorrow. Do you want to come? Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is a lot. It's like 11 p.m. at night, but sure, I'll come. And I went there to their office. I'd never really met them. And I'm like, this is kind of scary. Like, I'm a 20-year-old girl and going there in a group of men, with a group of men. And um, they were so rude. They like, I, I went there and I was like, hey, what's up? And they were all kind of ignoring me and just like not looking at me or interacting with me until they realized that Simon was a girl because we'd only talked over email. And they're like, oh, this guy named Simon is going to come. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, fuck, Simon. It's actually Simone. Yeah. And it's a girl. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of like slid into that in a very, very strange way. And I did that for a year. But then I got kicked out of an interview with Alexander Gustafsson. And oh, I was like. Your pronunciation is so good. Yeah. <laughs> what you... And then I just kind of never went back and I was done with it. And now I'm not allowed to do martial arts because of brain stuff. So I've, I've kind of put all of that behind me and it's it's interesting it's like i definitely see the athleticism in it and the skill that goes into it i think as the older i get the more concerned i am about the health impacts of the sport and of the people who are practicing it on an elite level and i'm just not as um cannot as um 100 percent just cheer as somebody beats somebody else up into a pulp yeah especially considering the effects it might have on the brain mm -hmm. may yeah. i ask why you got kicked out this is the <laughs> yeah. in the interview is anything fun so it's embarrassing it was, what, what no happened? it wasn't i didn't it was not i didn't intend to get kicked out i didn't realize i was going to get kicked out so it was alexander gustoson was going to fight john jones <laughs> yeah and he had just, he was kind of like this golden boy in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And he had just come out to the press that he had actually been to jail for violent crimes. And all I wanted to ask, all I asked was, what was the reason that you wanted to bring that forward now? Mm -hmm. And apparently that was completely like blacklisted, but I hadn't gotten briefed about it at all. Mm -hmm. And the... um the PR man, head of PR of the UFC was just yelling at me and they kicked uh, me out of, of Grand, Grand Hotel in Stockholm. And I immediately called my mom and I was like, mom, you will not believe what just happened. I got kicked out of an interview in Grand, at Grand Hotel because in the 90s, she got kicked out of an interview with Mel Gibson from the Grand Hotel. <laughs> so that's like runs in the family. So I was just like, she was proud of so, you? <laughs> yeah, no, it was just this weird that's generational so weird. skip where we both gotten kicked out of interviews at the same hotel. 